What is up guys, it's O Rampage, and welcome to the updated ultimate guide to making coins. I was gonna I was thinking about making this for a while now and now um, you know now, now it seems like a good time to make one of these videos, so let's get started. So today it'll be a pretty long video. I bet so sit tight, relax, enjoy, and uh, really just take note of everything I say because I mean I'm gonna be spitting out gold. Just kidding. But I mean um, yeah, everything I say will be pretty important. It's how I make my coins. And I'll be going over every single way. I mean, really, it, I'll be I'll be talking about pro packs. I'll be talking about sets. I'll be talking about live events, the auction house, everything at all about the game. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy, because uh, it'll be a really in informative, important video for you guys to to watch and listen to. Also, like and like up this video, share it with your friends to, to help them out and make coins. So let's just get started here. So basically. First things first, everyone knows um, how to make, you, the best way to make coins in general is through the auction house um, and sniping and buying buying players or buying items low and selling them high for more money. That's really how you make coins and there's a lot of ways to do that, but I'll be going over that later. That's the last thing I'll be going through because that's just the most extensive and also really just the most important part to be quite honest with you, but we're going to be going over um, live events, we're going to be going over pro packs and everything else first so let's just start with live events alright as, as you guys can see right here you have scrimmage you have daily warm-up you have game changers and you have road to riches right now those are the four live, live events going on I mean legacy that really doesn't matter it's not really too important so let's start with the daily warm-up you want to play that every single day because once you play that once it all you do is waste three stamina use three stamina at the beginning of the day Play it, bang it out, and every week you'll get one free pro pack. That's just an easy, easy way to make coins. Um, just a really simple way, not much effort involved. So I really, really just want to enforce that. Play the daily warm-ups whenever you can, every single day, really. Also, goes that same rule goes along with the scrimmage events, too. As, as you can see, I already played um, the scrimmage event that's going on right now. They... There are six of them in a day, I'm pretty sure, because they each scrimmage event lasts four hours. So four hours, 24 hours in a day. There's six scrimmage events every single day. And when you complete 20 of these new scrimmage events, all you have to do is do them once. And that's another three stamina right there. Um, an easy way to make coin, an easy way to just open up a premium pack is every week you'd play the um, NFL game plan live event and every time you complete 20 of these scrimmage events you put in um the the, the collectible you get from it put them into that set and you get to play this event and it gives out a free premium pack every single week it's a great way it's just just like the daily warm-up every every single week you will get one free premium pack and one free pro pack and who knows you you can easily get an elite from that premium pack because I know I've pulled a couple elites from there and it's just easy 50k right there um, depending on what elite it is it either, it's just free easy coins without really without you really even spending coins or really doing a whole lot of effort um, second um, not starting it's like third third live event out is road to riches I would say play road to riches whenever you can um, especially just not if it's like on the same day as a game changer like today um, I wouldn't play road to riches today um, just because it's on the same day as the Game Changers. Um, the, the three main events you really want to pay attention to is Game Changers, Free Agents, and Veterans. Those three um, live events are the most important and crucial to use all your stamina on because they are free, free coins. If you used all your stamina for the entire day on Game Changers, I guarantee you, you will pull an Elite because I have many times... Um, you, especially if you have multiple accounts. If you have multiple accounts that you like to play on, like a secondary backup account, spam it. Spam this live event out. Um, just grind it out. Um, use all your stamina, and you will get a good amount of coins just playing live events. Because um, with the game changes, you can you can easily pull an elite, at least one elite every single day. That's really what you could average upon. And if you're lucky, you can get two in a day. That's just pure luck it's it's just all in luck but if you keep trying um a good amount of times i'm you're guaranteed to get an elite for for the day so that's what i'd really um I'd, I'd really like to emphasize how important this is and even if you don't get like a player a game changer player you'll probably get a collectible and all you need is 10 game changer collectibles and five silver trophies to use to, to just go to the set and uh, complete that set and more than likely you might get 
an elite as well. It's, you have a better chance of getting an elite on that on that in that set as well. So definitely grind those game changer events today when I'm uploading this video, and grind out the la the veterans live events. Grind out the free agent live events. So live events are very important, very key, and be just because they don't have you don't need to use coins. They're literally free. They're, you're literally just using stamina and getting free players out of it. And if you get an elite, that's a free elite that you can sell in the auction house for either between like 25 to 40k maybe. Or even if you get a really nice pull. If you get like a Sammy Watkins, that's like 100k right there. Easy money. Um, it, as long as you get pretty lucky. I've, I've gotten a um, an Aaron Donald um, game changer. I think he was in the 93 overall defensive tackle i pulled him in one of my videos and i sold him for 300k 300 oh no I, I i lied i sold him for 400k easy money um 400k for just one day but just grinding up live events like i'll take that any day um that's also very important so live events grind those out every single day whenever you can whenever you have spare time grind them out and use up all your stamina so let's just go to packs um if you go to the store you can look at these packs i'd say don't even try it. If you if you really want to grind up for coins and make coins, don't use packs. Um, I'm just throwing them out there. If you like opening up packs, go for it. But I'm saying it's not very smart if you really want to make coins. Opening up pro packs will... I mean, as much as people say, yeah, you could kind of make your money back, you really can't anymore. Um, the game's been out for way too long. Gold players are selling for 2,000 coins. And that's you're not going to make any profit back unless you get really lucky and pull, um, like... Unless you pull like Kaepernick right now, I mean that's selling for a couple million, like one or two million coins. So if you get that lucky, yeah, of course you'll make money. But like the chances of you actually pulling a Kaepernick right now, or the chances of anyone pulling a legend player in general, it's. I mean you're better off just trying to buy the player on the auction house because I mean, most people aren't that lucky, you know. Like it's just not lucky or smart to buy pro packs if you want to make coins. Um, it's just not that simple. So I'd say avoid pro packs, avoid all pro packs, avoid premium packs, legend packs maybe. I'd say if you have if you have enough coins, sometimes you can get lucky. Like this week, um, if you if you're one of the first people to open up legendary packs and you pull the Lamar Woodley collectible, I'd say you'd make a decent amount of money. But like in general, the rule of thumb is don't really open up any packs. Packs are just another way for EA to make money and for you to lose coins. So it's pretty simple as that. Packs are pretty entertaining and fun to watch, but um, not too smart to, to open up if you actually want to make some coins out of it. Just just saying. So now we've gone through packs. We've gone through really anything. Um, let's now talk about... Oh, another, another thing, another method. They're not really a method, just something that you want to keep an eye out for, is leveling up. Leveling up... Um, as you can see, I'm level prestige, level 29, so I think I'm a level 79, I'd say. And when you just every time you level up, it, it just goes hand-in-hand hand with the grinding for live events. You get XP, and then you level up, and you get like 20,000 coins. Um, or from 10,000 to 20,000 coins, either way, it's pretty good, easy, free money. It's a good boost, just, just for fun, for leveling up. Um, the game gives you money and gives you coins just for leveling up, and it's pretty simple. I mean, you want to... Um, you want to be smart about saving stamina, especially when you're close to leveling up. So let's say I was, I had 3,009, oh no, so I need 4,800 4, XP to level up, and let's say I had 4,700 XP, so in order to really minimize and use up all my stamina, I'd probably go and, and play and play this, but exit out, and just save the stamina, so, so you can just use up all the stamina before you level up, before the their stamina thing refills so therefore you can just take advantage of that if you guys know what I'm saying um, just use up all the stamina and and I mean just just use it really, really use it smartly and level up and it's a great way to earn a bit of cash but uh, I mean a couple thousand coins a good amount of coins honestly um, once you reach the prestige I think you make more than 10,000 every time you level up so it's a pretty good bump I'd say and it's free so it just comes with the game so it's pretty nice it's, it's a nice added bonus so now that we, now finally that we've talked about everything, let's talk about the auction house. So there's a lot of things to do with the auction house. There's a lot of different um, ways to make coins out of it. There's a lot of ways to analyze the auction house and read the auction house. So let's just say right now, because it's very convenient for me, um, legendary packs are out. So 
when you think about it, le when legendary packs are out, you would think that all the legendary collectibles will be a lot cheaper than they than they were. And because people are buying legendary packs and legendary packs and legendary items are more abundant in the auction house and they're more being supplied through the auction house and people's games and stuff, there will be more in the auction house and there will be and therefore with more supply, demand decreases causing the cost of each item to be lower. If you guys understand what I'm saying whatsoever, hopefully that's just not gibberish. So basically what I'm saying is that when legendary packs are out, every single legendary collectible is at its lowest price, and when they're not out and when they're gone and not um and you're not able to buy them, that's when um all these legendary collectibles will increase in price. That's really it's pretty simple just like that. So one good filter I'd like to use um during legendary packs is just go to week you go to elite item and then you just go to 15,000 you want to check uncheck players of course you want to just snipe weak collectibles 15,000 and maybe a couple will pop up but for some reason Donovan McNabb always pops up for 15,000 I'm really not sure so let's say you snipe this Donovan McNabb collectible 15,000 coins let's just look at what what that one sells for it's like a week two or something like that but um, I think generally it'll sell for a good amount so if you look Hopefully you can. All right, there you go. Um, Twenty-five thousand coins right now. Um, that's kind of how much it's selling for. But the thing is, once you can either wait um, until legendary packs are gone, or you can just sell it right now. You can make a decent amount of coins. That's like a ten k profit right there. Um, there's some sort of coins that you can make. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple to make coins. All you have to do is read the market and see how and understand how it works. So another example or another thing I just another rule I'd like to say is that the best filters are the ones that you make yourself, honestly. So if you want to find something that is unique to you and unique to yourself and the one that you just found all by yourself, that will definitely work for you. I mean, everyone asks for filters. Everyone wants to know how what's the best way to make coins so I mean there's a couple of filters there's two ways to really snipe honestly um, there's the general overall filter what that's kind of what I like to call it where basically you can snipe for um, one that I actually kind of like to use and I'm just gonna show you guys right now because it's very general and basic I like to snipe silver trophies because why it's a, it, it's a general filter that takes no time, no skill, nothing at all to really figure out. So, I mean, you just have to be quick. You just want to snipe them faster than everyone. So, silver trophies right now are selling for 15,000 coins. 1,500. They are selling for 1,500 coins very easily. And what I like to do is just snipe them for 1,000. Because there are so many of these going on the auction house right now. And actually, I might just be able to live snipe some if I am on time. Maybe I am on time, so let's just let's. I'm gonna live snipe this. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to make coins. Um, I mean, it's it's one hell of an easy way to make coins. This is one of my favorite filters to use at the moment, just because it's very simple and very easy um, sniping for silver trophies. But I will be going through other better filters um, later in this video. But right now, I'm just showing you guys how simply easy it is to make coins on this game so you snipe all these silver trophies look at that i bought that one for 500 coins i'm buying all these for 500 coins no one is competing with me right now when i'm playing because not many people actually use such a basic filter and when you think about it i've done the math i've done the math so when you buy each let's say i bought all of them for 1000 coins even though i did buy a couple for 500 let's just say bought them for 1000 coins and you sell them for 1500 coins you make a profit of 350 coins each trophy that you sell, but when you snipe this many trophies, I'll just count out count them out with you. When you just do 350 times however many trophies I've sniped, you make a good amount of coins out of it, honestly. Because let's just say every three is a thousand coins, right there. I just sold three of them. That's a thousand. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. I sniped 14 silver trophies, and 14 times 3, I mean, divided by 3 is around, what, math, math time with O-Rampage, um, that's like 4, that's a lie, it's 3.5 thousand minimum, and I bought a couple, 3.5 thousand profit minimum, and that, I mean, that just took, what, 
10 seconds of sniping. It's very simple, very easy. Um, this, this filter is extremely simple. Um, it's just one I like to use whenever I'm bored. I just know that this is very reliable to make a good amount of coins out of it, especially right now. I'm recording this during the day, so not many people are actually on the game. And later in the night, there will be more people on. Therefore, there will be more silvers to snipe, and you can make more money out of it. So it's very simple to snipe. You can use general filters, like what I just showed you. Um, trophies are a great way. Um, before superlative collectibles are a were a great way. Road, t road signs, road to the playoff signs are a great way. Whether it be gold or elite, you can still snipe them, even though the uh, live events aren't out. Like I showed you before, the weak collectibles, legendary collectibles, are a great way. Um, but also, there are other specific filters where I just like to call, I don't know, specific filters, I guess, instead of general overall filters. Um, a couple of them, I'd like to say, or like scroll sniping filters, are probably Sammy Watkins, um, the 86 overall. So let's just take a look at that. So you look at Sammy Watkins, overall 86. Um, there are two of them. There's the Game Changers one, of course, which, I mean, many people many people are pulling at the moment just because the, the Game Changers is out right now. So a lot of people don't really know, and you can't really... A lot of people don't really know, um, like, how to set their players' prices and stuff, but I want you guys to take advantage of those dumb people who don't really know how to set them. So there are two Sammy Watkins out in the game right now. There's the team of the team of the week Sammy Watkins who is not even going for 35k or there's the game changers one who is going for a hell of a lot for about 200k if you just want to scroll snipe um, which is basically if you want to just keep scrolling keep scrolling hopefully we can find one um, and you get pretty lucky and you find one and you find you want to look for the game changers one of course but if you look for, if you want to find a game changers one um, who is selling for under look at this one that one sold for 155k easily and you can sell that for 200k you can sell that for 180k and you still make good money out of it um that was not the best example i'd say because many people would sell that sammy walkins for a bit lower but i'm saying that that's it's still an example that person whoever bought sammy walkins for 155k will make profit out of it if he wants to sell it for 180k on the auction house it's quick money he made around, if he did that, which I would do, so if I did that, let's just say I, I fucking, I, I sniped him. I'd say, I, let's just say I sniped him for 155k and I sell him for 180k. After the auction house tax, it would be, holy crap, I was not ready for all this math. I'd make around 10k. No, I'd make 5k. But still, still coins, still money, still profit into my bank, still into my wallet. It's pretty nice, pretty simple. Another filter that's pretty nice is Dree Archer. So the silver um, most feared Dree Archer, as many of you guys know, he's a savage. He's a complete beast. But um, some people just don't know that he's worth so much because he's only a silver. So he's going for around maybe 10k in the auction house right now. Um, let's just take a look. He's probably selling for more than 10k, honestly. Um, for 10k, you, look at that. No one is selling him for 10k. But if you look at 15k, that's not 15k, that's 1500. 15k, um, he's selling for about 15k, uh, 14k, something like that. So he's he's a beast of a silver player. He's the highest selling silver player just because he has 97 speed. I used to use him for 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 a while, for a long while too, unless until I upgraded to the game changers. Dree Archer. So all you have to do, he's selling for 15k. Sometimes, I mean, there's no. Um, there aren't really any examples going on right now just because I'm I'm recording this video in the morning but sometimes people will sell this Dree Archer for maybe 500 coins 1,000 coins even like 3,000 because people just don't know that he's worth so much because he's a silver player no one expects a silver player to be worth 15k but he is worth 15k so mo you can take advantage of that as well or you can look at um, the gold game changer and you can snipe him as well so if you just look at Dree Archer you're overall from 70 to 83 I'm sure there's none because I don't think anyone would sell that 83 one for 10k but sometimes he might pop up and it just be an easy snipe it's a pretty great filter to use um, when when a lot of people are playing and when a lot of people are on right now um, <clears throat> so yeah there's that um, there's that uh, Dree Archer 
way of making coins. And one last method that I that I really like to use, also another another way of showing as the general method, is the Dion Sanders Gold Players method. Um, if you guys don't know that, I actually did make a whole separate video about how to get Dion Sanders, the 98 overall Dion Sanders, where you have to get 100 elite trophies for free. You get them basically for free. If anything, you get him and you make coins on top of that as well. So you make that's a great way. It's only a one-time thing though, but it's a great way to make coins using the Dion Sanders method. I will be leaving a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out a lot of people i i personally have used let me just show you guys i personally have done this um the Dion sanders method myself and it was a great way to make coins honestly um i think i made like 200 500k just by doing this method and then i sold Dion sanders for like another 900k on the auction now. so it's a great way to make money i made 1.4 million coins out of it it's a it's a proven method that really works really well <clears throat> so, let me tell you guys the gold players method though. So basically, you're just sniping gold players. Um, I like to snipe gold players for under 81 overall, who are 81 overall or below. And I like to snipe them for, you can snipe them for, for I can't even speak English. You can snipe them for 1500 um, if you want to get Deion Sanders. It's a great way and m much easier, honestly, if you want to... Um, actually get more plays if you're not if you're t if you don't have the best internet or you're kind of slow at sniping you want to go to 15k um i think that's probably most beneficial for you but what i like to do is probably go around to one to the 1000 area and below because i mean i can snipe kind of fast decently fast and there's two things you can do with this method when you snipe all these gold players um one, you can sell them on the auction house again. Pretty simple. I think they're selling for two thousand. I'm pretty sure. Um, you can sell them for two thousand, and my internet's actually really slow right now for some reason. You can sell them for two thousand easily, and you make eight hundred coins, like immediately. Um, let's see if it actually sells more. Okay, no, it sells for two thousand, and you can get eight hundred coins for each player sniped just immediately. Simple as that. Or you can go to set and you snipe ten gold players or more you put them into the trophy trading set so you put in 10 of these gold gold players in there and you get 10 trophies basically on average you will probably get let's say three bronze trophies you can get another th three silver trophies and you can get that equals six right so let's say you get three gold trophies again and then one elite trophy so if you want to add up, and then you, of course, you want to sell all those trophies. I mean, that's really how it works, right? So, so, so elite trophies, let's just look in the auction house. I don't want to guess and lie to you guys. So elite trophies, if you're just going to go here to collectible elite. Elite trophies are selling for maybe around 7,000, I would assume. I haven't actually looked into this very, very recently. So, um, yeah, so they're selling for around 7,000. Let's see if they sell for any more. If, if they sell for more, then that just even helps out my case even more. Um, 7,500 easily. Let's see, 8,000. Let's see. My internet's so slow. They're selling for 8,000 easily. Holy crap. How much are they? Yeah, they're selling for 8,000 very easily. Okay. This is actually pretty nice. The new match, the new batch just came out too. Not 9,000. So selling for, selling for around 8,000 coins. If you get one elite trophy, you basically already made all your money back. Because selling for 800, 500, 8,500 8, coins, 8,500 coins for one elite trophy, and you are guaranteed, not guaranteed, but it, you're averaging about one elite trophy every single time you complete the 10 trophy set. And if, and if you add three gold trophies, gold trophies are selling for around 3,000, 3,500 coins. Three of them, that's already like, I can't even tell you. That's just counting the gold and elite trophies you're making at least on average about 15k or so and in addition to the silver trophies those silver trophies are almost worth as much as gold trophies now silver trophies like i said are selling for, for about 1500 actually so then if you get three of those that's another 3000 that's 18k bronze trophies i mean 19k done easy you get 19k and you spent 10 10k for to complete that set and you make a 9k profit i mean you basically double your profit which is pretty nice um so i mean th th there it is very very long video but i hoped it helped hoped you guys out um i mean that's really it 
There's a whole lot of more methods to, get, to do. There's a whole lot of other filters that people can use. And just look at that. All those silver trophies already sold instantly. And I just made 3.5K um, pretty easily, just in like 10 seconds while explaining this video to you guys. So thank you all very, very much for watching this video. I hope it helped. Please like up this video if you guys enjoyed. I spent a lot of work <laughs> um, really making this video for you guys, letting you guys know what my methods are. So also, um, Instagram. I have an Instagram account now, um, so, so follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Um, my Instagram name is the same name as my same name as my YouTube channel, O Rampage with two A's after the P. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll check you guys out later in the next video. Peace out.